In Episode 2, Chaos in the Calm PT2, the SEAL team members put in a lot of effort to prevent terrorists from attacking civilians in a mall, following the thrilling first part of the seventh season premiere. Even while they eventually succeeded, a great deal of blood was spilled, many lives were lost, and Bravo 1 is still a long way from going back to active service. The episode's heroes were Jason Hayes and his squad, played by David Boreanaz, as they always are. However, the majority of the guys are actually experiencing mental health issues, which will probably have an impact on the remainder of the Paramount Plus military dramas last season. In the opening scene of SEAL Team Season 7, Episode 2, Jason, Sonny Quinn, Brock Reynolds, and Drew Franklin entered the mall in order to locate the active shooters and eliminate the danger. Ray Perry and Omar Hamza were outside tending to the injured in the meantime. It was challenging to defeat the terrorists without any weaponry. But in the end, Bravo 1 proved why they are the greatest by stopping the gunmen. Many people lost loved ones and perished despite Bravo Team saving the day, and Jason's storyline in SEAL Team Season 7 will be impacted by Boreanaz's characters meeting with one of the terrorists. As viewers may remember, Jason has had a traumatic brain injury, TBI, since Season 5, and it appears that the terrorist attack in SEAL Team Season 7, Episode 2, has only exacerbated his condition. Jason encountered one of the gunmen while pursuing the others in the shopping center. Easily the most heated and unsettling fight of the hour was the one between the two. Jason engaged the terrorist in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, but things became really graphic when a knife was pulled. The gunman was finally brought down by David Boreanaz's character stabbing him in the neck, causing him to bleed to death on the ground. Jason was evidently very impacted by killing the man because he was hardly able to move afterwards. When another terrorist arrived and was about to kill Bravo's leader, fortunately, Drew was there to protect Jason. Jason's life was essentially spared when Drew shot the man. Jason experienced a night terror after arriving back in the United States and seemed to be still affected by what had transpired in Sweden. It may take some time for Jason's previous wound to heal because it has been reopened, and it wasn't really closed all the way to start. By the conclusion of the hour, Jason confided in Mandy that he was concerned that his progress toward improving his mental health would be reversed if he underwent surgery. Sadly, Mandy merely grinned and pretended that everything would be alright, even though it was obviously not. Jason is dealing with an untreated problem. Jason might therefore be in serious danger in SEAL Team Season 7. Bravo 1 hasn't been certified for anything other than short duty in SEAL Team Season 7, despite their heroics in Sweden. After the terrorist attack, Jason and his men left early in the hopes that their acts would provide them some respite. Regretfully, they didn't. The Bravo team, according to command, compromised their presence by running into the fire. In essence, they wanted them to imitate the responding police officers by simply sitting on their hands. Naturally, Jason, Ray, Sonny, Omar, Brock, and others would always prefer to help others, yet, in the end, Sweden did not help them win any favor at home. 